ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد فان اصدق هدي كلام الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار اما بعد يا سبحان الله يا سبحان الله how things can change brothers who were close are separate hearts that were together are divided tongues that were safe from one another are violating that who would have thought that this would have been something that happened to those who say that they are salafiyun or upon the way of the salaf and those who say that they are ahl sunnah wal jamaah those who say that they are ahl al hadith those who say they are ahl al athar have they lost their minds this kitab and sunnah have a reality in their lives anymore has shaitan come and played them put them to sleep made them enemies of one another after Allah Taala has established their brotherhood the title of the the selection is supposed to be unity goes with the sunnah like the vision goes with bid'a and this comes from one of the statements of the salaf that unity ائتلاف and togetherness اتحاد and oneness is مقرونه بالسنه It's coupled with the sunnah. If the sunnah is stuck to, if the sunnah is believed, if the sunnah is applied, there will be unity. There will be peace. There will be harmony. There will be love. There will be togetherness. So it's makruna with it, it's coupled with it. And the opposite is true. That bid'ah is coupled with firqa or, 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 or separation. that if bid'a is applied and bid'a is implemented and bid'a is believed and bid'a comes into the atmosphere and bid'a is practiced there will be disunity and separation have no doubt about this principle have no doubt about this principle we have been ordered and to the degree where you're tired of talking about this issue Subhanallah we've been ordered to have unity our deen the tawhid of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala and following the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam implies in every shape fashion and form this matter of unity yani usul al-adim the great principles of the tibriya li hadin al-islam that islam is based upon what is it امره بالجماعه والاتلاف to be one group to have اتلاف harmony and togetherness to be one body not separate not splitting our deen orders that and this is a fundamental part of our deen that can't be erased or forgotten except by somebody whose heart is unaware somebody who iman is at the lowest level for anyone with some type of basira some type of perception some type of intelligence understands that this deen one of fundamental principles is unity and that that unity must not be violated even if we have to have patience upon some wrong doing even if we have to overlook some faults the unity must not be violated For the unity after Allah Taala 
is our strength. And if we differ, our strength will depart. If we differ, our strength will depart and we won't be good for anybody or anything. And we won't be able to establish anything with anybody. We won't be able to establish our deen. We won't be able to establish our deen. And the order that Allah Torah gave is establish a deen wa la tatafarraqu fee. Establish the deen and don't separate in it. Don't split in it. So just as we're ordered to have the jama'ah and togetherness, we also have, it's been main, main said in a blameworthy fashion, thirqa wa ikhtilaf. Separation and differing. Separation and differing has been mentioned in a bad way, in a blameworthy way. It is sudden, sudden abhorrent. It is horrendous. It is ugly. It is ugly. And he who loves it, and he who goes throughout the, the dunya trying to, trying to make it happen, he who wags his tongue with it, this is somebody who is a khabith. It's evil. Rajulun murid. Person who's sick. Allah says in an ayah that should ring in our ears constantly. And we should always, as they say, nasabaina, aina, have it in front of our eyes. Surah Al Imran, verse 102. Wa bihabli Allahi jami'an wa la tafarraku. And hold all of you together to the rope of Allah, the book and the sunnah. And don't separate. Don't separate. Don't split. Don't separate. Don't split. This is ayah Allah Taala is talking to the believers. In kunta mu'min, if you are a believer, this ayah should have, should resonate with you. Should have some meaning to you. وَأَتَّزِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا We're not talking uh, some old fairy tale. This is the deen of Allah. Just like you establish salat, you fast Ramadan, you make wudu, wa kada, wa kada, you have to have unity. A must. You have to have unity. Have to be one. Whether you like it or not. It's like Abdullah bin Mas'ud radiallahu anhu who said, what you dislike in having unity is better than what you like in being alone and having disunity. That time where you say, well, I'm off to myself. Well, I'm away from all fitna. I'm not bothering nobody. That time you like to yourself, what you dislike in unity is better than that. Brother might rub you the wrong way. Words might be exchanged that don't please you. You might see things you don't like. But the dislike you have for the unity is better than what you like when you're off on your own or by yourself or what you like in this unity. Very important point. This is Abdullah bin Mas'ud. Ibn Umm Abd, great companion of the Prophet ﷺ, saying this, unity is better no matter what happens. Unity is better no matter what you think. Unity is better. Unity is proper. Unity is right. Make yourself have unity. Control your tongue. Control your hand. Control your impulses. Control your desire. Make yourself have unity. Make yourself be one with those upon the way of the Salaf. Those who are your brothers. But they may have some fault. They may say something you don't you dislike. They may be negligent in this or that the other. They may not know this or that the other from the affairs. Whatever the case may be, what should be your motive, your stance, your position? It must be unity. Stick to the jama'ah. Why oh, you want to destroy this matter with your own hands? 
وفي الحديث الذي رواه عنه ابو هريره نيرش ابو هريره وليس من فاضل عليه السلام ان الله يرضى لكم ثلاثا they are Allah is pleased for you three matters ان تعبدوه ولا تشركوا به شيئا that you worship him alone and that you don't ascribe any partners to him وان تعتزموا بحبل الله جميعا ولا تفرقوا and that you all hold together collectively to the rope of Allah and you don't separate وان تناسحوا من والله الله امركم and that you advise those who Allah tabarak ta ta'ala place in authority amongst you this is a asal brother this is a principle this is a fundamental this is something that can't be passed by or overlooked or given a uh, this light this night night nature of looking at something like it's unimportant it's a asal how you going to go away from a asal how you going to go away with something that is a fundamental principle what for your desires for this for fulan this person or that person for what you your brothers what you would rather have take place it's a asal this is a asal from the usul ad din yarhamakallah يقول الشيخ الإسلامي من تيمية وهذا أصل عظيم huh. this great principle what great principle he's talking about unity and oneness and harmony and togetherness this is a great principle he calls it هذا أصل عظيم هو اتسام بحبل الله جميعا it is to stick to the rope of Allah together وأن لا تفرق and not to separate وَهُوَ مِنْ أَعْذَمُ الصُّولُ الْإِسْلَامِ And it's of the greatest principle of, of Islam. And it's that which Allah Taala has raised and magnified in His book and given us advice to. مِمَّا أَذَمَ الْوَسِيَةِ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى بِهِ فِي كِتَابِهِ وَمَا أَذَمَ الْذَمَّهُ لِمَنْ تَرَكُهُ مِنْ أَحْلِ الْكِتَابَ غَيْرِهِ And He talks about in a blameworthy fashion, criticizes and put down those who have disunity and who leave unity like the Ahlul Kitab. And it is that which the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has advised fi mawatin amma in general places wa khasa and in particular places. He was ordering what? Unity. Oneness. Stick together. Be collective. Be together. Have harmony. Be one. Be together, unify, have unity. Asul Adeem. How are we going to step over this principle for something that might not be anything even obligatory? How are we going to step over this principle, disregard it, kick it to the side, act as if it doesn't have any relevance for mistakes that people have made and not even from the Kabir or the major sins? How do step over this principle? وَأَنْتَ سُنِّي And you say that you are with the jama'ah And you say you understand salafiyya How? How are you going to step over this? وَلِذَلِكَ أَمْرَ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى وَرَسُولَ Allah Taala and His Messenger ordered with everything that will guard the togetherness and preserve the harmony of the Muslims Order everything. Anything that will guard this unity, anything that will preserve this unity, anything that will nurture this unity, Allah amara bi. Allah order with it. Anything that will cultivate this unity, cultivate this oneness and keep it alive and keep it together, Allah order وَنَحْيَا And he forbid anything that would split the jama'ah, that would split the unity, that would split or do away with the togetherness. He has forbidden those things. فَكُلَّ خَيْرْ Every good that will increase in the strength of this great principle and give it power, مَعْمُورٌ be is ordered. وَكُلِّ ذَرِيعَةٍ And everything لي 
توحينه لو ويكنت وتدعيفه has been cut off in the deen. Anything that will weaken the unity. Anything that will bring about division. Anything will tear apart harmony. And together, the people on one thing, they're all going right. And then suddenly you take them left. And they're divided. And now all, all of a sudden, backbiting becomes halal. Slandering becomes halal. Su'udan becomes halal. Bad thoughts about one another becomes halal. Suspicion becomes halal. Under the pretext that you want to correct some mistakes. While you're out of your mind. You're out of your mind. You're going to dismantle unity. You're going to go against a great asal of the deen of Islam. You're going to throw to the wall orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ordering unity and togetherness and oneness for your own desires. For your own desires. Because if you wanted Islam, if you wanted to correct the matter, and at the same time you wanted to preserve the unity, you would have pulled people aside and you would have advised them in private. You would have gave them gifts if you had to, to bring their hearts close to you. You would have got up, feed your filet, in the middle of the night, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answers the call and made dua for them. And particularly since your brother's not present, then whatever dua you made for him would have been for yourself. And the dua would have been accepted. If you wanted Islam. But to come and dismantle what Salafis have built, come and tear down a fabric. Come and tear, call it by whatever you want to call it. A rose by any other name is still a rose. And hope, evilness, by any other name is still evilness. You can quote all the ayat you want. You can quote all the hadith you want. You can bring all the fatawa you want. You can go over the door you're getting fatawa. You're disunifying the Muslims. And this behavior, Allah Taala is now unaware of. If you looked at the ahkam al shariya our legislative matters, you find that it talks about this matter constantly. Everything we do, brothers, it signifies unity. Everything we do, what we do together, everything we do, it has harmony. Everything. فَفِي خُدُوعُ الْمُسْلِمِينَ لِرَبِّ وَاحِدٌ لِرَبٍ وَاحِدٌ مُسْلِمٌ سَمِينٌ تُوَانَ لَوْدٌ وَإِبَادِهِمْ لَهُ وَحْدَهُ إِنْ وَشِبْهِمْ أَلَوْنَ وَالتَّحْقِيقَ التَّوْحِيدِ وَالْخَلَاصِ ذَلِكَ Actualizing the oneness of Allah to Allah Ta'ala and sincerity to Him in that مع متابة الرسول and following the messenger كُلَّ هَذَا مِنْ أَكْوَى رَوَابِتْ This is the strongest rope التي تجمع المسلمين that gathers between the Muslims with the wahad sufu for whom and bring their ranks together. Well, Qari, the reader, the kitab Allah, the one who reads the book of Allah. Well, Qari, the reader, the sunnah to Rasulullah, the one who reads the sunnah. Yajit nusus, find texts that have come to show that it guards tawheed and the correct belief also it guards the sunnah. And also it says avoid the bid'ah. And it talks about the oneness of the Muslims. The oneness of the Muslims. Uh, look at these examples very quickly. Salah and Jama'ah. What is it for? To preserve unity. And to show unity. Shuri'at. It's been legislated for the sake of unity. That... A jama'ah, that there should be one jama'ah fi hayyin, in one village or air, fi masjid wahid. Yes, masjid wahid. One masjid. Anytime you're going to have other than that, if there's a necessity, and there are people, ahlin lidhalik, who have the level and expertise to be in that regard, and to give da'wah and these type of things. But as Sheikh Muhammad Basmood said, those places should be made as like musalla. But there should be one main jama'ah. 
one main gathering masjid for the Muslims. Some of the ulama muhaqqiqin said that it's obligatory to pray in jama'ah. We know this. And they hated that you even did another jama'ah in the same masjid. Because of the disunity that it shows. You come in and make dhuhr in a group. And then we come in after you and we make dhuhr in another group. And then somebody else comes and they make dhuhr in another group. It showed disunity so they disliked it. And this is just within the same masjid. Making a, a worship. Carrying out a worship. They didn't like that there was disunity in that. What if they seen us? And they sh- to stick to the jama'ah. And the unity. Look at this matter. They would pray behind a fasib. Somebody who openly committed sins. Wal fajr. An evildoer. Even a muftadah. An innovator who did not call to his innovation. They would pray behind him. Hifvan. To guard the unity of making salat and jama'ah. This shows what? The importance of unity. Huh? All of this is to show the gathering of the Muslims and to preserve and cultivate and nurture the harmony and unity and oneness of the Muslim and to keep their, their togetherness. And then siyam muslimi, fasting of the Muslims, all together, not different times, all together in Shah Ramadan. And they're making salat al in jama'ah, not alone, not alone, in jama'ah. And they're giving this zakat. All of this done in jama'ah. This is the gathering of Muslims. Everything indicates oneness, brother. Everything indicates harmony. Everything indicates togetherness. And we find that bid'a is the separation. Ittibal ahwa, following desires, is division. Huh? Just as the people of Sunnah are about jama'ah and togetherness and oneness, the people of Bid'ah is about separation. And look at the Hajj. Everyone comes from every continent and every city and every country upon earth to come and do one act of ibadah over that period of time. Fi makanin wahid. In one place. Makanin mubarak wahid. One blessed place. All of this is to keep what? That asl adheem, that great fundamental principle, which is unity. The Hajj doesn't indicate unity to you, what will? Everybody wearing the same dress, going to the same places, doing the same acts of worship at the same time. What is that but unity? Any fool can see that. You have to have a deficiency in your intelligence. Not to see that unity is throughout the program of the Muslim. Unity is throughout every aspect of the Muslim life. And all are also the rest of our kind in Islam. Look at the fact that Islam ordered the akhu wa ta'akhi to have brotherhood. We're ordered to have brotherhood. There's no choice. Nahnu masloob al we were our choice. The Muslim, Akhu Muslim. The Muslim is the brother of the Muslim. Ain't no choice involved in that. You have to be a brother. And you have to take him as your brother. Akhu wa ta'akhi wal muhabba, love. And having feelings for one another. Wa tarah, mercy between the Muslims. And all of the forbiddances of arguing, what to dabir, uh, turning your back to your brother, what to bagir, having hatred, what to hasir, having envy, and leaving your brother, boycotting him for more than three days. All those things are forbidden, why? Because they disturb the unity. Because they delete and, 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 make, and, and take down and tear down the unity. So the brotherhood and all this is to guard the unity. And saying don't backbite, don't slander, don't turn your back. It's guarding the unity and 
protecting one from that which will bring about disunity. Look to their forbiddance of buying over your brother. Now, do your brother want to buy something? You offer a higher price than like this. Why? It'll bring about disunity. Look to the forbiddance of you trying to marry a sister after you know your brother has intentions. Why? Bring about disunity. Look to rish, cheating and deceit, forbidden. What kedab, lying. What namima, tail carrying. What riba, backbody. What hams, what hams, and indicating this and indicating that about someone. Not saying it directly, but indicating it, taking little little parts of them. Huh? All of these matters are forbidden because they bring about this unity. They tear down the unity. They hurt the feelings. And the, it enters into the heart of the Muslim to the harms him or harms her or whatever the case may be. All of this has been forbidden because it brings about separation. It brings about a dislike for one another. It brings about, it tears down, it tears down the togetherness. So he's... This point is very clear. All of these ahkam and shara'iya kathira, all of these legislate, legislative matters, if we were to look at it, if we looked at it meticulously, what is the goal? What is the objective of it all? What is the great wisdom? Behind it. We find that it was all legislated to guard the unity of the Muslims. To preserve the unity of the Muslim. To keep them with that iman tied, that, that iman which ties them together and gathers between every single individual of them. And what is the principle of wala wa bara except that? Al wala, loyalty, support, and friendship and love, al bara, hatred, disavowment, and enmity. What is that principle except for this? And your wala for the brother or for the Muslim is that you have muhabba, love for the Muslim, and you you support them, and you protect them, and you help them. What the aun? You cooperate with one another. Alabir wa taqwa upon righteousness and fear of Allah Taala, and to hate the enemies of Allah. This is what bara. Your bara is not from your brother, but the enemies of Allah, and not to have any loyalty to them, and that the Muslims, yani yakif, or they 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 pick a position saf un wahid as one saf as one rank in front of the kuffar. One rank in front of the kuffar. How are we going to be one rank in front of the kuffar and we can't even be one rank in the masjid? This is what is meant with the unity. That there be a togetherness. And if we were to follow all the legislation and all the ahkam, I mean, we would be going on and on and on and on. But this is something fixed, brothers. This is something established. We're not supposed to be having this conversation. Not what somebody saying they Salafi. Every time you look at the books of the Salaf, you find this. Read, for instance, the works of Muhammad Waha Allah. Every time he brings this issue of Jama'ah and unity and being one. Read the books of Sharia li Ajuri, of Sunnah li Ibn Abi Asim. Read the books of all of the Salaf and Ibana. You find them talking about oneness and the importance of this great principle of unity and togetherness and harmony. So how did it miss you? Now, when you don't pay attention to this usul, when you walk by it like it's nothing, when you disregard it for something you got to say slick and smart out your mouth, when you go around the whole dunya looking for fatawa to support disunity, 
You must understand that when you don't pay attention to this principle, there will be separation amongst the Muslims. They will turn their backs to one another. They will, in fact, uh, disrespect one another. They will fall into separation and ikhtilaf and differing. And their ranks will be separate. They'll have secret meetings. They'll backbite this one and disregard that one. All under the pretext that you're doing something good. You're doing something sharp. I'm here to tell you if you don't know it. You're doing something evil. Shaitan is playing you. And it seems like you don't care. Disunity is something that we're not supposed to accept. It is something that we refuse to accept. Can't have it. Cannot have it. The sunnah and this unity don't come together. It is better in this unity that come together. The sunnah is by ittilaf, brother, being together. The sunnah is adam ikhtilaf, not differing, not arguing, not bickering, not backbiting, not cheating, not this is my turn to get back. No, oh, that's, that's insane. This is deen that we're dealing with. And come to deen to dan. As you deen, that's how you'll be judged. You might be playing, but Allah Ta'ala is not playing. Naam. He brings a statement of Abdurrahman ibn Nasr al-Sa'adi, rahimahullah, which also indicates the importance of unity and being together and having unity. And that this is the Muslims, ma'ahdam al-jihad. Listen to how he says it. From the greatest of jihad is to strive to actualize this principle, a ta'lif qulub al-Muslimin, bring the hearts of the Muslims together, and gathering them all together upon their deen, to be gathered all together upon their deen, and in those matters that benefit them fi deen in dunya, in their deen in their dunya, their masalihim, their benefits. Look what he calls it. He says, Adam al-Jihad. Akhi the Adam and jihad The greatest jihad is for you to be bringing about unity. Not disunity. If this is the greatest jihad, and what you're doing is bringing about disunity, what you're doing is raising people to have minds or changing people's direction in their minds till they look at a brother like they didn't look at him before. Till they talk to a brother like they never talked to him before. Till they disrespect the brother like they never disrespected him before. All based upon your guidance, Allah Yahdik. Okay, Kayf. When Adam and Jihad, the greatest Jihad will be for you to roll up your sleeves and say, how can I bring the Muslims together? How can I unify them? How can I have them talking together and walking together and eating together and having picnics together and harmony together? Read Quran together. Study Sunnah together. How can I bring about that? Sa'adi said. The Shaykh of Ibn Uthaymeen. Sa'adi, the Allah of Qasim, said, A'zam al-Jihad. A'zam al-Jihad. It's the greatest Jihad. Oh, no, don't you waste your time. Because what you're doing is corruption. What you're doing is separating Salafis. While we had high hopes for Master Salaf Salih. In Atlanta, Georgia. We had high hopes. And then this darkness came. And everybody got a reason why the illness came about. But nobody seems to see the solution to the issue. Well, I'm here to tell you that the solution to the issue is a tajarrud. It's to be totally committed to Allah Ta'ala and take your baggage somewhere else. Take your hidden agenda somewhere else. Take your hidden motor somewhere else. Take your other program somewhere else. And get with your tab of sunnah and fahm instead of salah. And if you understand that, do you understand that it's unity? We're not about seeking leadership. Thought we was beyond that. 
Man, let the man have the leadership. He's going to be in front of Allah Ta'ala answering questions that you never imagined. What you want that for? Let him have that. Should be happy to be one of the Muslims. Happy to be one in making ruku. Happy to be one making sajda. Happy to be one to be under the name of the Salafis. This is where it's at. Anything else is boxing. This is what's real. Anything else is false, man. Gonna destroy yourself. Gonna destroy yourself. Why well, it's better for you to go out in the middle of the woods, look up at the sky, and run around all day than what than the madness that's been going on here. Adam al Jihad, the greatest jihad. Lastly, that's many adilla from Quran and Sunnah. I have to tell this to a Salafi. Evidence is like Kitab and Sunnah about unity. Huh? You never heard the ayahs dealing with unity. You never heard the ahadith dealing with unity. What planet you been on? Allah Ta'ala says, Ya ya ladina amnu taqu Allah haqa tuqatihi. All you who believe, fear Allah as He should be feared. We need a little taqwa in here. وَلَا تَمُوتُنَّ إِلَّا وَأَنْتُمْ مُسْلِمُونَ And don't you die except as Muslims. وَأْتَسِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا And hold you all together, all together, collectively, to the rope of Allah, and don't you separate. It's forbidden. It's forbidden for you to separate. If what you're doing and what you're saying and your actions and your behavior is bringing about disunity, then you're doing that which is forbidden. You're doing something haram. ذكر ابن جرير رحمه الله, the great Mufassir, بأسنانيده عن عبد الله بن مسعود رضي الله عنه, that he says, وَأْتَزِمُ بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا means الْجَمَاعَةِ, the group. وَذَكَرْ يَسَنِيدِهِ أَقْوَالٍ أُخْرَىٰ عَنَ السَّلَفِ He mentioned with his chain of transmission other statements of the Salaf في تفسير المعنى giving the explanation of meaning of حَبْلِ اللَّهِ حَبْلِ اللَّهِ is all of this. It is Quran, it is Ikhlas, it is Islam. قال ابن جرير في تفسير هذه آية the one that we all know hold on all of you together to the rope of Allah and don't separate يُرِي بِذَلِكَ ذِكْ Ta'ala, Allah means by that, Tamasaku bidin Allah. Hold on to the deen of Allah, Allah the Amarakum be, that He's ordered you with. Wahdu Allah the Ahadi ilaykum fi kitabi ilaykum min ulfa wa ishtima' ala kalimat al haq. And that the commoner that He has taken to you and vouchsafed to you in His book, that you have ulfa togetherness. Wa ishtima' you come together all together ala kalimat al haq. Upon the word of truth, what taslim li'amrillah and submission to the order of Allah, and that's the biggest problem. No one wants to submit to the order of Allah. Half of this would have been over with. Someone would have capitulated. Someone would have humbled themselves and submitted to the order of Allah. Qal ibn Kathir rahimullah. وَقَالَهُ لَا تَفَرَّقُوا His statement don't separate. أَمْرَهُمْ بِالْجَمَاعَةِ He's ordering to be a group together. وَنَعَاهُ وَنَا تَفَرُّكُ And he forbids them from separation. And there's many ahadith that have forbidden separation and have ordered for oneness and togetherness. No. Then he says, Al-Qurtubi, that great Mufassir said, the Abdul Mas'ud, when he says, al jamaa this is what it meant by hold on to the rope of Allah together. And it's like Abdul ibn Mubarak says, إِنَّ الْجَمَاعَةَ حَبْلِ اللَّهِ فَاتَّزِمُوا Verily, al jamaa having unity and being together is the rope of Allah, so stick to it. مِنْهُمْ بِعُرْوَةِ الْوُثْقَى لِمَنْدَانَ It is a safe, strong house, a safe, strong handhold for those who submit to Allah. تَبَارَكَ وَتَعَالَى And Shawkani said, 
واعتزم بحبل الله جميعا he said at Habl the rope is a word that has many meanings and it's that which leads to something and he said here Allah taught us order an yastami'u that we gather together at a tamasik be deen of Islam so stick to the deen of Islam or bil Quran or stick to the Quran and he has forbidden us from a tafarruq or separation al nashid it comes from al ikhtilaf the deen differing in the deen what is clear from the words of these ulama is that the minhaj is sahih the correct way or methodology الذي يؤدي إلى اجتماع كلمة المسلمين that will bring the Muslim world together and they have harmony is of course sticking to the book of Allah تبارك وتعالى and there are several other ayat amongst them قول الله تعالى إن المؤمنون إخوة verily the believers are brothers verily the believers are brothers Nasad hadi ayah. This ayah is a text to show this great principle from the principle of the Islam, and that is ta'akhi, brotherhood. Brotherhood. The Prophet said, a Muslim akhu, Muslim man. Muslim is the brother of a Muslim. He doesn't harm him, he doesn't let him down, he doesn't turn his back, he doesn't forsake him. Like this. Muslim akhu, Muslim, and we're acting like. Some Negroes up on the corner with a process in their head who never got any understanding of Islam. Somebody smoking something they shouldn't be smoking and doing something they shouldn't be doing. No way in the world, in this late date, is anyone supposed to be talking about this unity. Let's hold on to the brother. He might be wrong, but we can advise him. Let's hold on to the unity. He might have mistakes, but we can advise him. The most important thing is that we're unified. The most important thing that we won. The most important thing that we're together. Because this is what Allah has ordered. In closing, I say simply this. I'm astonished. For Haqqali, it's correct for me to be astonished. Somebody with minhaj salaf Somebody who can have access to the ulama. Somebody who can read the books of the salaf All the translations of such books. Somebody who has all that which is, is a, that one has access to of tapes and lectures and conferences that this would ever have happened here. How are how? What you been smoking, man? Where you at? This unity is evil. This unity is evil. And differing is evil. It won't bring nothing but evil. And those individuals who feel that they will get some personal gratification. How in the world are you going to go from a masjid to a dawah center? Akhi, come on. Takillah. Don't play with our intelligence. You're in need of a masjid. I remember where you were. You were in a little hole. Dope dealers all around and prostitutes. You forgot where you came from? Somebody pulls you out of that, brings you to something of this nature, and rather than being grateful and accept that, and roll up your sleeves and work for the benefit of that, you crying and fought. But you'd rather be back in the cut, back in that madness, where your daughters wasn't safe and your wives wasn't safe and your children wasn't safe. Why you wasn't even safe? Madness. Where your daughters wasn't safe and your wives wasn't safe and your children wasn't safe. Why you wasn't even safe? Let's be for real. If we got minds, let's use them. 
If we're asleep, then let's wake up, huh? Look at you around you. You got space you ain't never had. You used to make salat in the masjid, and it was a bathroom in front of you. Come on now. You gonna let somebody come with a gift of gab and a smile and good intentions and a little Arabic and tell you something different? Why you live in reality, ain't you? This is the place you're supposed to be. Now get about the job you're supposed to do and quit this foolishness. Hada wa sallallahu ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Fair suave question. We'll take it, baby. I'm on with it. Naam. Bismillah. Man, no, I ain't got, I'm not going to clarify that, man. You know, darn well, I'm not talking about unifying with no Mubtadi. No, I ain't no new nothing, man. We talking about Salafis, baby. I will say that Abdullah bin Mas'ud is a good example in this regard. You all know the narration in which Uthman, radiallahu anhu, Abu Bakr, Sadiq, and Umar, and the rest of them, prayed at Mina, they were short in the prayer. Even Uthman did in the beginning of his khilaf. Then he saw fit that it would be better to complete. When this happened, uh, some found fault with him, Ali ibn Talib and others. And amongst them was Abdullah Mas'ud. Abdullah bin Mas'ud found fault with him. He said, man, come on. I pray behind the Prophet I pray behind Abu Bakr, I pray behind Umar. This is how they did it. We completed. So he was doing all this talking like this. Then it came time for the salah and he lined up and made it. After the salah was over, people said, wait a minute, you did all this talking about this issue and then you made salah with him. He said, yes, al-khilaf shar. Differing is evil. Akhi, differing starts and you don't get a hand on it. It goes to one heart, to the next heart, to this Muslim household, to that Muslim household. And you can't do nothing with it once you open the floodgates. It takes on its own nature and it burns everybody. It's evil. That's why Abdullah Mas'ud's statement is very clear. It should be for all of us a wake up call. Al khilaf shar. Differing is evil. Differing is evil. So when you see brothers start to differ, even in conversation, Pull them out. Extinguish it immediately. Let alone before we start going outside the masjid and being a, you know, in the driveway with this madness. No. No. Abdullah bin Mas'ud. Come on, man. Y'all got mouth any other time. What's happening here? Come on, man. You got something on your mind. You want to talk about whether well, sure of this and the sure of that? Financial policy, the monsters, this and that? Come on, give me what you got to, to, to justify disunity. And to give the banner to shaitan. And to let Ahlul Bidah and the Hisbis look at us and laugh. What you got? Put it on the scale. We're going to judge it. We're going to analyze it. We're going to deal with it. Don't be silent now. This is your opportunity. Fuddle. What take you said? Well, we just listened to um, a tape of him. He was talking about uh, as far as the community. Who? Who was talking? Um, I don't know the shit. I'm sorry. I think it's a shame. I'm real. And then uh, he was uh, the one he had translated. 
Okay, if it's Ahmad Basmut tape, I heard it. But you know, to me, the leadership, it's not, it's not, you know, you don't have to be a nuclear scientist. Right. Your leadership is basic, the administrators of the masjid. I mean, they're not a government, and they're not like kings and rulers and like this, but they are to be respected for their particular position in the masjid and administrating the affairs of the masjid. So therefore, they are the leadership of the masjid because they are the ones who take care, for instance, the treasurer, who would take care of the finances, and, you know, uh, other positions that might be in there, like the director and so on and so forth. Depends on what you have. I don't know how you have it laid out. But those four or five or six individuals who will be the ones who will make administrative decisions regarding the masjid for the benefit of the Muslims in the masjid. Huh? They're not like no great uh, uh, rais or ruler or whatever they, to be here and obeyed and everything. But they are to have what you call cooperation. There is to be cooperation with them to help them get their job done and to facilitate their job. If, for instance, you see them with some shortcoming or some making some plan or some move that you, you deem to be other than that which is beneficial, then you advise them. And they may accept it, and this is good, and they may reject it, you know, which is the option also. For everyone's statement can be accepted or rejected, except the prophet. Is. So that's the administration. That's the leadership. And it's not something that one expi aspires to. But if it's put in your uh, hand, the Muslim is always does the best he can do in, the, in any given situation that he has. Now, in the shape, are you just putting on that? Okay. Fuddle. Your community is what? I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina. Mm, okay. It's not a masjid. It's not a strong principle. It's not a strong principle. May Allah bless you to get a masjid. Mm -hmm. Flood them. It's sort of tough now. Mudo'afa, yeah, say. Subhanallah. I mean, if the man is lazy, is he trying to do something? You know the difference between a guy who's lazy and a guy who's trying to do something. If he's an individual who tries to do something, you help them. You know, an individual that's lazy and doesn't is not trying, is not concerned about what he's supposed to be about, then you know you're, you're helping him. In this case, will be harming him. No, no, that's not our way. That's Sufism. No, no, man. We don't worship until, you know, ain't nobody got nothing to eat. No, we don't do that. What we do is we, 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 we say, al iktisad the sunnah, being short and, and precise in the sunnah, is better than ishtihad fi bidah, better than going to extremes and innovation. So we follow the sunnah of the Prophet in this regard. We do that which he was doing. And uh, not the extreme. We can't even, now, we, now we're going to depend upon the people. We can't even feed ourselves. Uh, you know, we so much into ibadah. No, no. This is not the way. So no, it would be right now to, to reject him and refuse to help him so that he can better himself and get that foolishness up out of his head. Naam. 
Mr. Brother, he gave me a book. I think the title is called Rifkan Ahlusun. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mohsen Abad. Yeah. And another article was connected to it. He said that some scholars had made some criticism and it was recommended not to read this. Mm-hmm. You read it out of it? Oh, you just been translated down. Yeah, I did that. He waited some, and he had some criticism regarding it for certain statements it says that are over gentleness. And you know, we are about ittiba. Ittiba means what? Ittiba means that Sheikh Abdul Mohsen Abad, who is a Brady Sheikh, and we love him, and one of those upon the way of the Sunnah, and Sheikh Rabi, and, and, uh, and Sheikh uh, Ubaid al Jabri, and this one and that one, all of them are Ain wa Ras. We love them, respect them. But you can accept or reject anything except that which comes from the Prophet. There's no Isma, there's no guarantee of perfection for anybody. So there's some areas in that which indicate an. A, a, a over amount of gentleness to the people of innovation. So for this, I mean, there were some responses. And uh, lastly, I think I recall Sheikh Rabi saying something about leave the whole discussion regarding the issue. Because I mean, in reality, it's only a risala. And I mean, there's millions and millions of books. You know, it's not going to hurt us if we read it or don't read it. You know, especially since Sheikh Abdul Mohsen Abad has many, many, many other uh, pieces of literature. Matter of fact, one of the ones I'm teaching now from one of his books is Position of Ahl al uh, Position of the Family of the Prophet. So he has many, many books to, sh- to support the Sunnah. And he has said himself that harsh statements regarding Ahl al Bidah. But in the climate we live in now, any type of gentleness for those people who have a problem with uh, people being corrected, whatever, they look for that type of thing and they spread that type of thing. So, I mean, you know, how can that, as far as I know? Allah Allah. Naam. Alaykum as salam. It seems that there are some people that want to withhold donating money to the masjid. Mm. hopes that this masjid will fail. So that they can That's the actions of the munafiqeen. So they can produce another masjid and label it a salafi masjid. Mm. So what the position of people who do want to follow the honest sunnah with the understanding of the salaf as salaf, would they then follow with that masjid that is? Well, I mean, you know, it's not about terms, Akhi. Just you say they want to, if they want this masjid to fail so that they can build a masjid and call it Salafi, I mean, is that really Salafi? It's not about the title, it's about the, the reality. And the point is that makes them similar to the hypocrites is the ayat in Quran which says, they say, do not spin upon Muhammad and those with them until they leave him. This has never been the way of the Muslim to, to boycott uh, financially. Uh, the Muslims, particularly Salafis, you know, your sadaqah for you is a healing. Your sadaqah for you is an extinguishing of your sins, an expiation of your sins. Your sadaqah for you benefits you. You know, you have had to be the biggest, buff- you know, fool on earth to prevent your money from going to those who are upon the way to Salaf. And if you have some beef as to how things are spent financially, then you come talk to somebody. But when Ahlul, when the people of Hizbiya are spending millions on their Hizbiya, people of Bidah innovation are spending millions on that, and here you got Salafis and you're you're draining them, you're waiting for for the rug to fall up, uh, out from under them. Why you're a dog? Mm. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that the guest gets three days. No, that's depending on administration. Administration can say well, we, a day, they can say less than that, they can say nobody sleeps here. Depending on what they see, it's a maslaha, a benefit. Okay. And also another thing about, uh, I saw on Becker.net from um, uh, Sheikh Mohammed Bazmoon about naming a place where the Muslims pay rent. Naming it a yeah, that's another issue. That's that's technical. It's technical. But the point is, you come, you make salat, you, you read Quran, you hear the khutbah. I mean, for all intents and purposes, this is a place of worship. Yeah, I don't think it's a, this is a major issue. I mean, they, they, they go into a situation of thick regarding the issue as to, you know, whether it's this or whether it's that. But it, 
and for all practical pur- purposes, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it doesn't really matter because, I mean, it is a place of worship. It's a place where the Muslim established this salah. Or you call it musalla because it's an area where you make salah. Or you call it uh, whatever you want to call it. I mean, it's not a problem, inshallah ta'ala. The masajid over there in Saudi and other places is done by waqf. Endowments. We don't have that benefit. Hmm? Can you explain? Endowment is where a Muslim gives something or government gives something uh, for the benefit of the Muslims and they don't have to pay anything with it and whatever and it's for their exclusive use. We don't have that. We don't have that type of support. Otherwise, we wouldn't be talking about these idiots who don't want to give sadaqah. Yeah. I'm trying to understand the difference between Yeah, innovator doesn't give da'wah. An innovator who is not someone who is giving da'wah to his innovation, they would say the permissibility, not the obligation, the permissibility. You know the difference. The permissibility of praying behind him. Yeah, for the sake of showing uh, the general outside unity or the unity that the Muslims have. But now, there is, the difference is clear. You give nasiha, there's ways you give nasiha. You advise a brother in private, you sit him down, you talk with him with some gentleness. This is nasiha. This is how you correct him. So, I mean, I, I can't see uh, where, I mean, it's going to be different unless he rejects it and you want to uh, impose you know, your particular view on him. Go ahead. Like what? I could come on, give me an example, man. No, no, not anything going to harm. You said something extremes. Right. Right. No, not anything. Come on now. Let's talk right. I mean, what is the action that he's done? Okay. No, the ulama didn't say that. No, no, ain't according to nothing. I heard the tape. The ulama didn't say that. Okay? Credible or no credible. You got to be able to understand what the fatwa said. Before you run around here talking about Sheikh Ahmad Basmu said this and Sheikh Ahmad Basmu said that. Sheikh Ahmad Basmu never said anything regarding that type of separation. What he said was be patient with your brother upon some of the harms that your brother. And I, I, I called, I mean, I think we did a telelink on this thing. Called in and said what the Sheikh said. And I feel was there. And he said, yes, what you said is correct. He did say that. And whatever criticism Sheikh Ahmad Basmu had was not for the shura. It was two individuals. It was an individual. It was an individual that uh, individual issue that Akil presented about one individual and his behavior far as uh, talking to people and the issue about we're the wulat, but not as a shura. So if anybody in this area is going around saying Sheikh Ahmad Basmu said remove the shura or separate from the shura, they're a lie heard the tape. And another thing, you don't get into this issue of blind following nobody, no matter how credible. You have to understand, when you have two sides of an issue, it's called khusumat. Khusuma here, khusuma there. You don't take the word of one over the other, no matter how credible he is. Because you're being unjust then. You are being unjust. For you to say the nobility or the credibility of Akil has nothing to do because when you get into an argument, you may leave out certain things, you may say certain things, whatever the case may be. So now you have to hear it from both sides. And he should not be taken as a translator in this regard. Because he's part of the party that is disagreeing. You must get an objective person to translate now. This is what you want if you want to do right. Now you want to follow your desires. If there's some game being played, then that's something else. But if you want to do what's right, you say, wait a minute. I kill differs and they differ. I kill is no more right than they are. So why don't we get somebody who's objective to call Sheikh Ahmed or Sheikh Muhammad, and then we get a fatwa from that. Then we move on that. Anything else is blind falling, baby. Well, yeah.
Well, you gave me an extra one. What's going on? <laughs> he said, just like, like, just like, 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 like. <laughs> What was that about? That's all we need you to make that call. We, 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 we got some issues. But that, 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 that's extra one there. What's that about? None of y'all these are small issues. But Shefan can use them and make them big. And we'll be destroying ourselves. Let me tell you, anybody who's saying something against Masjid Salasada is helping the innovators and his beast. They're not helping the deen of Allah and they're not helping the cause of Allah. If they're keeping their money, may their money rot in their pockets. Go in their grave with them. And what you going to say to Allah Ta'ala when you had the chance to raise the banner? And this is something that we always say. We want to raise the banner. We want to raise the banner. We want to raise the banner. All right? We want to raise the banner. And we don't care whose hand is in. Long as he's on the hop. I hear what mistakes that they made. Bring me something. Bring me a kabir a min kabair. A major sin that they did. You won't find it. Bring me some outlandious, outrageous, down and dirty and filthy. You won't find it. So what does this matter? What is this issue? Except are pushing by shaitan and by those who have some evil in their heart and have some destruction on their minds regarding you smiling in your face shaking your hands trying to take you off the planet Akhi, this is Islam this is real you're going to be a man stand with it whether it goes against your desires or not I mean all of this kalam Akhi why is it turned into the area of the women in the houses? What's high other? Where's the Salafia in this? Where's the credibility in that? Where's the nobility there? When you're disuniting and you're fighting and you're splitting and you're doing nothing but helping Shaitan and his cronies against those up on the Minhaj Salaf Salah. You might not like him, huh? You might say, man, I don't like that brother. He squeaks when he walks. Any reason you might have. What does that have to do with Salafiyya? Separate your personal viewpoint and opinion from a da'wah. And put da'wah first. Put the establishment of a masjid first. Some of you might want to go out and get two or three more jobs now. Because you got to support Salafia. You're not going nowhere else. If anything else comes about, what's going to be the benefit? You're going to get a ragtag group there dismantling something. Why are you on the internet with it? And on the telephone with it? It's everywhere with you. The disease that you have, you're carrying it everywhere. Cliff, Achi. Cliff, stop. It's enough. You've done enough damage. Let the house of Allah Taala be established. Let the worship of Allah Taala commence. Let it be a da- call to kitab of Sunnah Min Hajjah of Salah. Let there be some credible translation from Ahmad Basmul and others. Whatever the case may be. But let the da'wah go on. And stop this foolishness, Ahi. Shame on you. And shame on anybody you listening to that's, that's promoting this type of madness. Care how nice he might look. Care if you see upon him a thought of nusuk, worship. So what? Shaitan comes in many forms. You have to openly apologize. You know, I went on the internet and talked about this brother and gangster his be this and that, that. and yeah, Come on, you have to apologize openly. This is ill behavior, Akhi. This is not con- the conduct of Salafis. This is not the conduct of Salafis. And I mean, what I've said, I've said, and those who like it can like it, and those who don't, later form. It's reality, man. The dean. How you gonna let separation come? Separation come. 
They are algebra. The attacks that we are under. We are under all types of attacks. Brother, just talk about a book he got translated over quickly into the Arabic language. Something that, that shouldn't even been out there or you shouldn't even been presented with. Something to do bell bell. Something just to mess with your head. Under attack, Akhi. Understand this minhaj. Understand who the ulama are. Understand that every all types of information ain't good information. Prophet Sallam used to take, used to seek refuge in Allah from almin la yanfa, a knowledge that doesn't benefit. Wa qalbun la taqsha, and a heart that doesn't fear Allah Taala, and a nafs and a, and, a, and a self that is not full or satisfied. You got something? Marhaban. And uh, I wanted to understand how the talk might apply to to you coming from Los Angeles because there may be some similarities uh, in what you have spoke about, but maybe you don't know the details, so maybe I might take it out of context. Why certain things will go out of Well, I mean, what you got to sell if you must do? Oh, I don't like the way that sounds. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's part of the, you know, why I'm asking the question. Your situation might be different. We have to talk. Khalas, man? We're done? I don't know uh, how many brothers know about it, but I feel I did make a public apology last Friday and put about some statements that were made about a specific uh, thing. Mm-hmm. And in general to the board like this. Um, also, I remember during that television uh, when I feel like oh, past if you wanted to translate for them, uh, as far as as far as the tape of Sheikh Ahmed Bezum, and you said that it was, wasn't necessary. No, it wasn't necessary because they had achieved unity. They were back in pocket. So therefore, he, he's been translating for him. He can translate for him. It's a difference from that time and the time when you're differing, which I guess you still some people still are, and then in that case, you have two parties, and you hear both sides, and you get somebody objective to do it. And then why ask me to translate at that point when he already called Ahmed Smith Moore and some others? Well, it's, it's at that, that, that point that people were questioning his uh, credibility. The credibility doesn't come in the context here. He is a part of the issue. You know what I'm saying? Okay, no, well, okay. I mean, you know what I'm saying? For that particular situation, then he wasn't someone who should be translated, right? I didn't say he. What did I say he shouldn't translate? Because yeah. he was part of that. This issue. is probably part of the problem. You're hearing things that aren't there. That's right, I never about. said he shouldn't translate. No, I said go ahead. Issue, right? I said that they should get someone objective to translate. Right. Because right. so he's not objective, right? Because he's not objective. Not in state either. Allah almost uh, help him out, brothers. Huh? No, what I'm trying to understand it seems from what I Okay, there's no type of assassination attempt to the character of Akil. So get that out your mind. That's not happening here. You know, and, and, and watch yourself when you come to connecting yourself to men. Make sure that it's a manly connection. And if the, if the man's on a hot, huh, I'm down with him. If he ain't, later for him. You know, manly connection, not a baby connection. You know? Okay, make sure that's the case. Now, Akil can translate anything in the dunya if he wants. But I'm saying for them to take this Ahmed must move take, which was done without anybody else around. The other party wasn't there. And he talked to the Sheikh on the phone. Huh? That is incorrect in an area where you're differing. When you're differing, you bring both parties together and you have objective person translating. Now, what part of that you don't understand? I understand. Now, the only thing is, I just didn't understand. Uh, no, I'm not attacking Aki. Don't don't get that impression. People are ultra sensitive lately. No, 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 the thing is, when he asked, when he asked if he wanted you to, if it would be more appropriate for you to translate that. I was talking about unity. They were talking. They didn't. They not come together for unity. They did not reinstate him and do this and all that. Type. I don't know. I'm, I'm, you may be more aware of the situation. That's been well, that's what I heard. I don't know. I mean, you you live here. Well, I understand he's not here today because of something, a mother-in-law or something like that. I mean, that was the reason that was given. Uh-huh. Man, he just... We're not connected to Rijal. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But I'm just saying, you know, as yeah. far as... Uh, Shabbat, you know... Uh, 
Come on, man. To tell him to die for Anhu, you want to defend him. We are more hirs, more concerned about his defense than you, believe me. I've known him longer than you. You know what I'm saying? But the point of the matter is, is that this is not the this, this, this case this situation. The situation now is that you have people running around with a fatwa that don't exist. Saying Ahmed Basmu said, remove the shura and this type of thing. It don't exist. I don't know how, you know, you didn't stop that one. <laughs> And he said that a lot of them are coming into the ranks of the Salafis and they don't and talk of separation and they hang out with Ahl al Bidah. They're not even on it. How our brothers listen to him, though? I mean, you know, what's going on? Mm. Give him a scoop of ice cream or something. That's my scheme, man. As soon, soon as that happened, a lot of, a lot of the history started coming here. He loved that when that happened that time. When he told yeah, I heard. I heard. I heard. It was a bunch of people. People popped up. Who, you know, Brother didn't even know what a musalla was. He had never been here. You know? Face this way when he came in, and prayed. Nah, 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 nah. Um, I was at the hotel uh, earlier today, and I was talking to a brother. Uh, I think it was like from somebody in Ethiopia or something like this. He mentioned something about another another masjid that I never heard before. So I was going to ask, you know, maybe you know these mountains better than me. I don't know nothing about this area, man. Oh, yeah, that's been here, right? Yeah, yeah. What about him? No, 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 Ain't no days like those, yeah. No sororis, actually. Yeah, sororis. Very few Somalians are on the Sunday these days. I don't mean it in harm. I'm not trying to, you know, excuse me, I don't want to Mogadishu. But, uh, you know, very few of my own, as in this country, are uh, upon what's the haq. Uh, Africans in general, subhanAllah, Allah hmm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had something? Go ahead. I guess his condition is all right. He's alive, right? And his aqeed is sound. Don't, don't sleep on Fareed. Uh, the man has ilm. And he has waqar. And he has some good akhlaq. And I'm not the muwazana. I'm being honest with you. And at the same point, though, people have a problem with him regarding his acquaintance or uh, not being acquainted or whatever regarding the people. All oh, that Obey al Jabari said to him that if he leaves the Salafi alone, leave him alone, you'll see what happens. I don't think nothing's going to happen except what's been happening with him. He's going to do his ibadah. He's going to mem- uh, he's already memorized Quran and Bulug Maram and like this. He's going to do what he's going to do. And uh, I've never known him to be other than a supporter of the Sunnah. You know? Many times the issue is an issue that you got to be real open and at, uh, with what you're doing. And if you're not, people have a problem with that. Sheikh Mukbil said, Alayka bi Farid. He liked them a lot and like this. So I don't know anything uh, other than that. I mean, I don't know anything about him but Khair. And I hope that, inshallah ta'ala, uh, that, the, that his uh, proper condition would be known by the people and they will hold him with the same esteem I hold him with. I mean, the man was close to being a Qadi. And a few people who reached that level in his studies. And he's not even from the United States, he's from the Bahamas. Nah. Um, oh man, why are you coming back? <laughs> oh man, why you have to mention him, Achi? <laughs> You've messed up the whole city now. <laughs> I feel like I gotta go make wudu. <laughs> 
Oh, almost done. You had to do it. What about him, Akhi? I don't want to talk about him. <laughs> and he broke my wudu just by mentioning that cat's name. <laughs> oh, almost done. He's a problem, okay? Watch yourself. Yeah, that's the best way. He got a, he got, he got, he got a tongue. Major scholars don't have time to talk about him. They don't major issues. He's not major. I mean, if you ask about him and his condition, you'll find out. The thing is that he's has a connection to some Mashaikh and he uses this. Remember uh, Hussein Ali Sheikh, Imam of Masjid Nabawi? He just grabbed, I mean, one, he was not even invited to a conference. He'd come and he's holding his hand constantly. Hey, where the Sheikh go? He go. Sheikh, you know, I guess if the Sheikh had to hit it for the bathroom, he'd be with him. You know? Really, I mean, it's just a connection on that level. And, uh, so, I mean, anyway, he's he's clearly uh, has some major problems. So, yeah, and a buyer beware. Yeah. Nah. -uh. Yeah. Yeah. We turn into just what that deal section. Wait, what happened to the unity, brothers? The oneness, togetherness. Yani Sheikh Jibreen has been talked about, but he is one of the uh, long standing students of Sheikh bin Baz, and one of his closest. And his fatawa are, are that which are, are genu genuinely correct, uh, except the latest stuff. So, you know, don't get the, the, you know, the new edition, get the old edition. You, you, and then you. How do you explain to somebody the, uh, from the aspect that they hold on to in uh, uh, this umma uh, difference, different, differentiating is a is a rock. Uh, and then hadith that's that's that. more. It's a made up. It's not a true hadith. Okay. So how would you like correct somebody? In well, first you tell them that it's a lie. It's not. It's forged. It's not a real hadith. Right. And that the Allah God says in Quran that they will always differ except those who Allah's mercy is upon. So mean differing indicates the absence of mercy and being being uh, together indicates mercy. Yeah? Can you say that the hadith for the benefit of whatever is being recorded? Oh, the hadith was that the difference of my ummah is a mercy. Nah. You what? You didn't say what I thought you said. Uh, <laughs> I know you didn't say that. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh son. Go ahead, Akhi. I'm sorry. This is true. A lot of people. And it's true why everybody because that was one of the problems. Well, I reward you and your nuts. <laughs> it should never be like that. It should never be like that. And those brothers like yourself and others who have a say so and and who have some type of uh, voice, you, you should be the one steering the people in the right direction. I said, no, nah, man, you can't do this. Okay, yeah, that, so on and so forth, but no disunity. I lack that now. I was like the other brother said, we're just doing the committee or the board. What does that mean to the people? I really didn't know. I never heard of the board. So I didn't know myself. No. Well, I mean, this, 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 this are just to minister the affairs of the masjid. And in that regard, they should be respected. And if they make some mistakes, they should be advised. 
if it goes on and on, it should be some type of probationary period and this type of thing. But it should never be no overnight overthrow. And you know, uh, you know, somebody sounding like Paul Revere want to read a declaration and we gonna do this and we're the Black Panther Party and you know, you know, you just take it's just madness, man. Why are you coming out here? You guys speaking to us and being real instead of going in office and just talking to a select amount of people. Now I'm, I'm, I'm very clear. I know what's up. Allah make it easy for you. And a free hooey. <laughs> nah. You didn't upset me, Achi. I just don't like to hear about these people. That's all. I mean, it's okay. I mean, this is your habit. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, seriously. Just watch yourself. Sixty-seven. Yeah, California is bankrupt, huh? Huh? You in Texas? Oh, who's defending California? Yeah, Arlington. Yeah, I forgot. Abu Mujahid is out there. Tuskegee.org. Huh? How far is that? Yeah. So you had to do your own thing, man. When you got to begin, I don't know. Huh? You just left there? It was bad? Well, when I left there, it was worse than what it is now. But Muhammad, you taping all this? Nuffs and everything? <laughs> Inshallah, if there's no more questions, brother. Huh? Jazakallah khair, Allah barakfiq. So far, so good. Naam. Khalasna. Abu Muhammad off the hook. Hada. Wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.